Hey guys, Sid from Sid's Trains here, and today we are going to be reviewing and running this MTH Pennsylvania K4S Streamline Torpedo. So before I uh, talk about this MTH model, let me give you a little bit of history on this engine, and this one in particular. This is a K4 style Pacific locomotive, which means it has a 462 style wheel arrangement, and uh, the Pennsylvania Railroad had two kinds of these. They had the regular K4, which was just a regular old looking steam engine with none of the shrouding or streamlining, but then they had this. This is a K4 streamlined torpedo, which had this streamlining all along in that. That's why this is called a torpedo, this torpedo style front here. And this one in particular, number 3768, operated on the northeast portion of the Pennsylvania Railroad and likely pulled some of the named trains such as the Broadway Limited. Uh, it, uh, the 3768 uh, was equipped with the most uh, modern fittings installed on the K4s, uh, excluding uh, uh, pop-off pop valves. Uh, it got the modern uh, slap pilot, typical PRR smoke box uh, configuration and modern, a, a more modern tender. And it was showcased at the 1939 to 40 World's Fair in New York City as this engine was very futuristic looking with the streamlining. As during uh, uh, around the 30s and the 40s, streamlining became a big thing as it was very futuristic. Uh, by the 1940s, the streamlined shrouds were removed as it uh, imped, um, affected maintenance. So they just had to take off some of the shrouding, which... On this model, you are able to take off some of the side screen, which I will show you. And the streamlined casing was removed, and the locomotive uh, returned to its uh, conventional appearance uh, later on. As while they did remove these side skirts at at one point, they finally just removed all of it and returned it to a normal K4. So that's a little bit of history on this engine and the K4 in general. So now let's look at this model by MTH. So this is a, as I said before, this is an MTH locomotive, and it has everything you come to expect from MTH engines. This is a uh, their latest uh, run of this engine with the Protosound 3 system in it. It has, of course, puffing smoke, uh, LED lighting with the headlight being an LED, as well as the marker lights, cab light, backup light, and firebox glow. Uh, it also has um, a, a wireless draw bar, and uh, overall is a very nice engine and has some very nice features. So let's take a closer look at this engine. Starting out the front here, we have this great torpedo style front. Uh, that's what makes this engine look so great. And this amazing Pennsylvania Railroad logo here. It is this nice kind of stainless finish with this red uh, PRR logo in the center. We have this nice striping running down the entire side of the engine and along the front here. There's both the gold striping and the silver stripe. There are little uh, steps going up to the walkways here, and there is no uh, safety tread on them, but I would I believe that's because this is a streamlined engine. There's also all these grab irons here, which are separately applied, which is very nice. And we have the uh, headlight lens here. And you might be it might be hard to tell, but this front piece here is kind of like extruded a little, and that's because this pops off to expose a coupler, and I'll show you that right now. So there's that piece popped off. It's just held in by friction with these little uh, metal pieces here and that just pops out. And then you can then swing this little coupler up here. And then you have a scale coupler on the front. Obviously it doesn't look very good, um, but that's how the real one was. And this is a scale uh, micro coupler. And in the box there is a uh, dummy coupler that can be installed to double head the engine. Personally, I just leave the coupler down and I leave this plate on as well. And I'll put that back on in a second. So now we can move uh, along the side of the engine. So moving down the side of the engine, it's hard to see because everything is the same kind of Brunswick green kind of color. Very, It's very dark. It's not totally black. It's partially green. There's these handrails running down the side and they are separately applied. And they are this very nice size gauge of wire. It's actually kind of small. But that makes it look that actually makes it look better than the kind of thicker wire that are used on older models. 
and I like that. Uh, these uh, walkways continue. There's this nice striping all the way along the sides here. And then this panel here can also pop off, which I'll show you in a second. And uh, that'll also help me show you the drivers on the side as well. And then, of course, all, these, uh, all the striping and the paint job is amazing. There's no imperfections. This 3768 is printed uh, nicely, and it's overall uh, very good. So let me take that side panel off and show you what the engine looks like without the shrouding on. So here's the side of the engine with that little panel off. It actually looks kind of cool. You can see all the drivers and all the rod action. And here's a better look at all the drivers. They are nice. All the rods are kind of blackened. And it looks really good down here. And overall, the train looks pretty good without that uh, streamlining on. But personally, I like the streamlined look. And I just will leave them on and I'll put them on for the running at the end of the video. So looking at the top of the engine here. Up here is the smokestack and it looks very nice. Here is the little swinging bell down in here. You have the whistle here and some pop-off valves. This being a uh, streamlined engine, there's not a lot of detail up here, but overall it's pretty good. So back here at the cab, we can get a better look at everything. Uh, here again is that crisp lettering, uh, 3768. These windows in the cab uh, do move back and forth and they're, uh, they're separate, so the two move uh, separate of each other, which is kind of nice. Uh, this door on the side here does open, which is very, very cool. And then on the inside of the cab, we have two uh, crew figures. And then there is a uh, flickering firebox, uh, a nice detailed back head, and then a cab light that does shut off when the end starts to move, engine starts to move. And then something nice that MTH does, and Lionel does every once in a while, uh, is this uh, plate here. This goes in between the engine and the tender. And that's nice and adds a little bit of detail. It kind of makes the gap in between the end and the tender look smaller. And then another uh, thing here is we have the wireless draw bar here. And on this engine, luckily, it's kind of short. So that allows uh, for things to look better. So moving on to the tender here. Again, we have a very nice paint job. Crisp striping. A great uh, Pennsylvania Railroad logo here. And then the very nice Pennsylvania wording here. On the front we have some great molded in detail rivets, some little latches that have to do with the front of the coal coming out of here. And uh, if you can see down here and over here there are these little chains. See there's these little chains and they're separately applied and they come from the factory attached and they just look really good and they add some detail uh, to the tender. And again uh, down here we have a nice six-wheeled uh, six truck, which is really nice. Now, checking out the back of the tender here. On each side of the back here, we have a marker light, and then right here is a backup light, and that does turn on when you put the engine in reverse. Here we have a protocoupler, which can be uh, fired via the MTH remote. And it's kind of nice because this is tucked back under the tender a little and draws the cars closer to the engine. Above the coupler, we have a little coupler bar here, which does operate, go up, goes up and down. Above that, we have a little builder's plate, and then there is a separately applied ladder. Looking on the top of the tender here, here we have some real coal, and this is real coal, and it's this really nice glossy uh, finish to it, which is nice. We have this great kind of bright red uh, paint job on top here, which is nice. And there's some great rivet detail, and then these hatches do open. The center one, there's nothing. Over here is the volume control, and then over here is the smoke control. Checking out the bottom of the engine here, we have two pickup rollers uh, on with the drivers here. And then moving over a little, we have the uh, wireless draw bar here. And as I said before, this is a shorter one. Uh, and this, this came with this, which is nice. And up here we can see that little plate and the springs that are holding it in place. Uh, moving over to the bottom side of the tender, sorry for uh, the shakiness, uh, we can see the protocoupler. And there are no pickup rollers on the tender, which is kind of sad. I wish MTH would do that, but it doesn't really affect this engine much as it is a bigger engine and the footprint uh, luckily makes it so it doesn't cut out when it goes over switches.
And then right here is a DCS DCC switch as you can run this engine with DCC. And then here is a two rail, three rail switch as this engine may be able to be converted to two rail operation. So before I start this engine up, I'm just gonna sum up what I was talking about. Uh, overall, this engine is a very nice engine. MTH uh, has, all their engines are built very well. The paint job is crisp, all the lettering is nice. And overall, just a very cool engine with this torpedo front and the streamlining, which I really like about this engine. So now I'm going to start it up, and I'm going. I'm using the MTH DCS remote here, and I'm going to be using the extended startup. So here we go. We got a schedule to keep. Let's get our steam. Clean out the ass pad. Grab a shovel and spread out that coal. Swing that spout over. Okay, that's enough. Don't bump those side rods, will you? So now we're going to listen to some of the sounds. Uh, this being a ProtoSound 3 engine, it has a couple different whistle options. The first one is just pressing this whistle button, so let's do that now. And if you hold it longer, you'll get kind of a toot toot sound at the end. Now the other whistle is the quilling whistle and that is activated by pressing the SPW button and then using the scroll wheel here. Now the other whistle is the grade crossing whistle here. Here's some uh, idle sequence sounds. Don't bump those five rods, will you? And here's some uh, station announcement sounds. Now departing for New York on track one. Train number 28 is Broadway Limited. Look good. Now arriving from Chicago on track one. Train number 28 to Broadway Limited. This stop is Pittsburgh. This stop is Fort Wayne. Okay, I've got some uh, passenger cars hooked up to this engine now, so uh, let's uh, run it around the layout a little. Now departing for New York on track one. 
Frank number 28, the Broadway Limited. Checked his watch again. Must be time to go. The conductor's giving us a highball signal. Let's get down the line. So as you can see, this is an amazing engine, it looks great, it sounds great, and overall, it uh, is just a good engine in my collection, and I would definitely recommend any of you in the market uh, of O-Gage model rarity to look around for this engine. Uh, MTH uh, made this Protosound 3 version, and they made a Protosound 2 version, and they're both very similar, just the control system and some of the sounds are slightly different, uh, but overall, just an amazing engine. And I hope you enjoyed this review and running of this engine. As always, uh, like, subscribe, and click the bell for notifications. Comment below. 
and tell others about the channel. I'm Sid, and I'll see you next time, guys.